Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center. And today we're taking a look at the SOG SEAL series of tactical and survival fixed blades. Let's check them out. So the original SOG knife actually predates SOG the company. They were originally designed for studies and observations group personnel in the Vietnam War, and there's some really cool lore attached to it. Supposedly, they were completely unmarked in order to maintain plausible deniability in case any of their covert operatives were ever killed or captured. Even so, these tools were instantly identifiable thanks to a very distinctive blade profile. Those knives were designed to provide the utmost reliability and fearsome performance for our elite warriors, and today, SOG the company is probably best known for their blades that channel the spirit of that original combat knife. And the SOG Seal Fixed Blades deliver that battle-worthy performance at a very reasonable price. We have a range of different models in the lineup. The first is the Seal Team and Seal Team Elite, which feature a 7-inch blade. And the Seal Pup and Seal Pup Elite, as well as the newer Seal Strike, both feature blades just under 5 inches. For steel, SOG goes with AUS 8. And while that may not hold an edge as well as a modern super steel, this is a proven alloy in the field, where it is tough and expedient to maintain. Across the range, several different finishes are available, including black tie-nye, satin finish, and also a smooth powder coat that actually reminds me a lot of the way Teflon feels. You can also see that we have options for both plain edge or partially serrated edges as well. The signature ridges on the spine are what give this knife its unmistakable look, and the blade features a long swedge and a nice hollow grind that keeps resistance behind the tip to a minimum. Standard versions feature a smooth spine, while the Elite versions actually feature a ridged spine, which can be used for rudimentary notching and filing. On these larger SEAL Team knives, the rearmost ridge actually forms a nice place to choke up on with your thumb. We also get a nice cutout at the heel of the blade, which enables you to hook your index finger over the guard and extract the blade if it gets stuck in your target. Not to mention, it also allows you to choke up and get right behind the edge for those smaller jobs. The Seal Pup knives maintain the same profile, just smaller, and that ramp and cutout on the front are smaller as well, so that's something to keep in mind. And the Seal Strike features a heavily jimp ramp section, and they've also eliminated that cutout at the heel in favor of a little bit more sharpened edge. They've also changed up the blade shape on these knives, trading the classic profile for an aggressive harpoon point. Because it features a straight clip rather than the cut-out clip of the other blades, that tip is going to be a little bit stronger, and that harpoon design actually provides a nice place for your index finger to rest if you want to use this knife for skinning or hunting work. All these knives are full tang designs, and they feature a glass-reinforced nylon overmold with a really grippy diamond texture on it. Along with these finger grooves, it really locks the knife into your hand. The team and the strike models even feature a protruding tang, ridged on the strike, and smooth on the team models, which can be really useful for thumping on things in a survival or combat scenario. One more thing to note about the handles, although the Pup and the Strike models feature the same shape, the Strike is actually slightly thicker, and it also sports this metal wraparound accent piece. As far as sheaths go, there's multiple options for each of these different varieties. Some of the knives come with a Kydex sheath with a Velcro loop that allows for a few different carrying heights, depending on how far you want your handle to stick above your waistline. The retention on these sheaths is pretty good on its own, but we've also got a Velcro and snap retaining strap to help keep things secure. Others feature a nylon sheath with a hard insert and that same great retaining strap. These also come with a handy pouch on the front, and the shape of that pouch is a great size for carrying survival items, sharpening supplies, or even fire starting gear. In addition to a pass-through for standard belt carry, they're even Molly compatible, allowing you to attach it to a wide variety of different gear. For a combat or survival knife, the SOG Seal Series fixed blades are a sturdy option, steeped in history at affordable price points. To get your hands on one, click the link in the description below to head over to KnifeCenter.com. 